गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट्स सेशन विच इंस्टीट्यूशन नोटिफाइड द डिपॉजिटेड एजुकेशन एंड अवेयरनेस फंड सो रिसेंटली अ सम ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन ग्रोर रुपीज फ्रॉम द Depositor Education and Awareness Fund has been allocated to the banks by to reimburse unclaimed deposits and Reserve Bank of India has notified this Depositor Education and Awareness Fund scheme regarding unclaimed deposits and it specifies the utilization of the fund including the promotion of depositors interest and other designated purposes by the reserve bank of india okay so this fund has been notified by reserve bank of india now apart from it which institution recently released the draft telecommunication consumers education and protection fund so this is telecom regulatory authority of india and recently it has unveiled the draft telecommunication consumers education and protection fund regulation seeking input from the stakeholders basically it seek to make the changes in the telecommunication consumers education and protection fund regulations of 2007 okay simply you can be asked that which institution has released the draft telecommunication consumers education and protection fund so answer would be the telecom regulatory authority of india next is next question is by kalla railway station which is india's oldest railway station lies in which state or the union territory so by kalla railway station is india's oldest railway station and after following 5 years of extensive restoration efforts india's oldest railway station that lies in central mumbai has been meticulously revived okay so as a result of this remarkable achievement the station has been honored with the prestigious and asia pacific cultural heritage award by unesco that's why this railway station was in news and it lies in the state of maharashtra okay next is india is set to establish an innovation platform with which country so the swiss network in india is working on the development of an indo swiss innovation platform the aim of which is to strengthen the collaborations between switzerland and india and this platform is an extension of the switzerland india science and innovation alliance that was established during former president ramnath kovind's visit to the country switzerland in the month of September in the year 2019. Okay, so India is set to establish this innovative platform along with the country Switzerland. Next is, according to a study, climate change could potentially turn which Indian state to a water deficit desert. So, according to a new research by the Punjab Agricultural University, climate change could potentially turn the Punjab into a water deficient desert in the future and the reasons are absence of required rain obviously the lack of crop diversification indiscriminate pumping of ground water etc and the state is currently known for its bumper agricultural output that's why water is required here okay so as per a study climate change could potentially turn punjab state into a water deficit desert Now, apart from it, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has recently inaugurated the second Akhil Bharatiya Shikha Samagam that commemorates the third anniversary of the National Education Policy's introduction. And this event will take place at ITPO Pragati Maidan in New Delhi. Also, IIT Guwahati and the Indian Institute of Information Technology, Guwahati. jointly conducted a press conference in guwahati and in which they have discussed the implementation of national education policy 2020 okay 
यू कैन बी आस्ट दट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज इनोग्रेटेड द सेकेंड अखिल भारतीय शिखा समागम इन विच सिटी आंसर वुड बी न्यू डेली ओके विच बिल हैज बिन रिसेंटली विथड्रॉन बाय द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम द लोकसभा so recently the government has withdrew so recently the government withdrew the dna technology regulation bill 2019 from lok sabha basically it aimed to build a new regulatory framework for the use of dna fingerprinting technology in the criminal justice system and this bill was introduced in the parliament multiple times and every time it faced opposition on the grounds of the accuracy of dna technology also potential threats to individual privacy and the possibility of abuse for the other reasons okay so recently dna technology use and application regulation bill 2019 has been withdrawn by the union government from the lok sabha also recently there is one more bill that was in news the name of which is national dental commission bill 2023 Can you tell me this bill seeks to propose to set up which entity? So, National Dental Commission Bill 2023 has been passed by the Lok Sabha to ensure the availability of affordable, high-quality dental education and accessible oral healthcare services. So, the National Dental Commission Bill seeks to repeal the Dentist Act 1948, and it proposes to set up a National Dental Commission. modeled after nmc okay so you can be asked that this national dental commission bill seeks to propose to set up which entity answer would be national dental commission okay the next question is national nursing and midwifery commission bill is associated with which union ministry so lok sabha has recently passed the national nursing and midwifery commission bill 2023 the aim of which is to establish the regulations and uphold education and service standards for nursing and midwifery professionals so it works under the aegis of ministry of health and family welfare so this bill aims to set up national nursing and midwifery commission and to repeal the indian nursing council act of 1947 okay so this bill is associated with ministry of health and family welfare then apart from it the constitution scheduled caste order amendment bill 2023 was passed to include two synonyms for a community in which indian state actually in the lok sabha the constitution scheduled caste order amendment bill of 2023 was introduced to make changes to the constitutional scheduled caste order 1950 and the purpose of this amendment is to include two synonyms for the mahar community in the state of chatisgarh in its scheduled caste list okay so this bill is associated with chatisgarh state government with reference to space science what is this bennu so nasa regards bennu as one of the most dangerous asteroid in the solar system and university of arizona planetary science expert and two important personalities have collaborated to produce bennu 3d which is the world's first comprehensive 3d atlas of this asteroid that's why it was in news okay so this book features data and images from the osiris rex mission and nasa has collected the samples of their details from the near earth asteroid that is bennu okay bennu is basically an asteroid Now can you tell me what is the name of the region that is situated at the boundary of space which is located around 50 to 400 miles above the earth surface so this region is called as ionosphere basically ionosphere is the region that is situated at the boundary of space and it is located at around 50 to 400 miles above the earth surface why it was in news because recently space x has launched 15 starlink satellites to the low earth orbit with the help of falcon 9 rocket which is said to have resulted in a temporary disruption in the earth's atmosphere as per the nasa okay so this region is known as ionosphere next question is 
which country is experiencing a phenomena known as full time children actually the increment in the youth unemployment in china country is leading to a phenomena known as full time children and in this context full time children refers to the grown up individuals who receive a salary from their parents to fulfill the role of being their children and they spend time with their parents accompany them for shopping and assist them with household tasks and so on okay so recently china country is experiencing a phenomena which is known as full time children also which country has recently approved a comprehensive judicial reform bill called as reasonableness bill so recently the parliament of israel which is known as the neset has approved a crucial provision of a comprehensive judicial reform bill the aim of which is to limit the authority of supreme court and this bill intends to remove the supreme court's ability to declare the government decisions as unreasonable okay so this bill is associated with the country israel next question is meri mati mera desh campaign aims to create a garden in which city so as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav celebration union government has initiated the meri mati mera desh campaign the aim of which is to create a garden along the kartav vipat in delhi and the soil collected from the various regions of india in the month of august will be used for this purpose and this campaign include the events at different levels starting with panchayat level programs that are scheduled between 9th to 15th of august then it is followed by village block urban local body state and national level programs okay so this campaign aims to create a garden in new delhi next question is which city hosted the meeting of high level political forum on sustainable development so world leaders assembled at the high level political forum on sustainable development and requested for a renewed dedication to eliminate the poverty which is a crucial challenge that is outlined in the united nations mandated sustainable development goals and this forum serves as the primary global platform for monitoring and examining the progress towards the 2030 agenda for the sustainable development and the sustainable development goals and this event took place in new york under the aegis of economic and social council okay so which city has hosted this meeting answer would be new york next question is island of roads which was seen in the news recently lies in which country actually around 19000 tourists and residents were transported amidst the wildfires on the greek island of roads that's why it was in news and greece country has said that it was their biggest safe transport of residents and the tourists in emergency condition and this is a hugely popular holiday destination you can say among the visitors from britain okay so island of roads lies in the country greece last question is very very important which racing driver has won the hungarian grand prix 2023 tournament so max verstappen has won this tournament usually second and third are not asked in your examination so only thing you have to remember is who has won the hungarian grand prix this year answer would be max verstappen can you name at least two of the tournaments that have been won by max verstappen this year please write your answer in the comment section if you remember now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu hatsana signing off